هلو ماي دير ام دكتور علاء مصباح بروفيسور في اوبستاتريكس اند جينيكولوجي فاكولتي في ميدسن منصوره يونيفرستي دي توبيك اوف ماي ليكشر توداي اباوت ليوتيل فيز ديفيشنسي سو وات وي ونا ديسكاس توداي دي فيسيولوجي اوف دي ليوتيل فيز ديفينيشن اوف ليوتيل فيز ديفيشنسي potential etiologies the possible symptoms proposed diagnostic test for luteal phase defect or deficiency proposed treatment okay let's start with the physiology of the luteal phase please look to this picture of the menstrual cycle with the follicular phase and the luteal phase as we all know after ovulation this is a mature follicle and this is after ovulation the remaining part of the follicle is called the corpus luteum corpus luteum producing progesterone mainly and the some estrogen and it is responsible for the secretory phase of endometrium okay this is the uh, the, the luteal phase or secretory phase and corpus luteum is responsible for production of the progesterone during this phase okay okay so if fertilization happen the corpus luteum maintain its work to produce progesterone to maintain the coming pregnancy okay so it is very important as a source of progesterone early in pregnancy okay but if fertilization doesn't occur the progesterone and the estrogen levels full and the corpus luteum dies forming the corpus albicans these falling hormone levels stimulate fsh to begin recruiting follicles for the next cycle okay okay so the typical luteal phase length is relatively fixed at 12 to 14 days okay progesterone levels peak in non-pregnancy cycle six to eight days after ovulation and progesterone is secreted in pulses under the control of luteinizing hormone okay progesterone production by the by the corpus luteum is pulse style secreted in response to lh pulses progesterone pulses are more pronounced in the mid luteal to late luteal phase and the progesterone levels may fluctuate up to eight fold within 90 minutes okay let us go to our topic today which is the luteal phase deficiency also the other name is luteal phase defect okay so what is the definition of luteal phase deficiency it is a clinical diagnosis associated with an abnormal luteal phase length of less than or equal to 10 days in other studies they consider it nine days or 11 days but according to the american society for productive medicine equal to or less than 10 days is called luteal phase deficiency if the luteal phase is equal to or less than 10 days okay there is another definition called biochemical definition Biochemical definition has also been proposed, for example, a low integrated progesterone level across the luteal phase is considered luteal phase deficiency. Okay? Okay. But all over the world, clinical diagnosis is the predominant one. Okay? Okay. What is the potential etiology of luteal phase deficiency? It may be inadequate progesterone duration or inadequate 
progesterone levels or endometrial progesterone resistance so any one of them can lead to luteal phase deficiency what is the condition that alter the luteal phase this is a pathologic condition that disrupt normal gonadotropin releasing hormone and the LH pulsatility can hypothetically lead to luteal phase deficiency. Give us some examples for these conditions which is associated with luteal phase deficiency. Okay, hypothalamic amenorrhea, eating disorder, excessive exercise, stress, significant weight loss, BCOS, obesity, aging, endometriosis, undiagnosed or inadequately treated 21 hydroxylase deficiency, thyroid dysfunction, hyperprolactinemia, ovarian stimulation alone, and assisted reproductive technology use. These causes can alter the luteal phase and produce luteal phase deficiency. What are the possible symptoms of luteal phase deficiency? First, it may be asymptomatic and the lady may be fertile and normally menstruating. Or she may have a luteal phase of 10 days or fewer in length. Vaginal spotting before menstruation. Slow or low rise in basal body temperature following ovulation. Inability to conceive and repeated miscarriage. Okay. What is the proposed diagnostic test for luteal phase deficiency? Diagnosis of luteal phase deficiency is made clinically as we mentioned before multiple diagnostic tests have been proposed including clinical biochemical and histological but none have been able to reliably differentiate between fertile and the infertile women okay first clinically shortened shortened luteal phase based on what based on menstrual cycle length or basal body temperature shorting or urinary LH surge detection kits to know the time of ovulation then to know the starting point of luteal phase okay the second is the measurement of single or multiple serum progesterone level the third is an endometrial biopsy okay so one clinical is the shortened luteal phase and one chemical which is single or multiple serum progesterone level measurement and one histological is the endometrial biopsy okay okay no diagnostic test for luteal phase deficiency has proven to be reliable in the clinical setting or in differentiating fertile from infertile women histological dating of the endometrium with endometrial biopsies is not recommended as regard reported recently 2021 by the American Society for Reproductive Medicine so it is not recommended to do endometrial biopsy endometrial biopsies only have the precision to distinguish the early luteal mid luteal and the late luteal phase and they have been shown to not discriminate between fertile and the infertile women okay Okay. What is the proposed treatment? Our first approach 
in case of luteal phase deficiency is to find if it is secondary to certain disease like thyroid dysfunction like hypothalamic dysfunction like hyperprolactinemia so any etiology like that should be corrected okay but what if there is no underlying abnormality then this treatment becomes empiric and is not generally recommended as mentioned by the American Society for Productive Medicine okay what is the aim of empiric treatment improve ovulatory function promote endometrial maturation enhance endometrial receptivity and support implantation and development of an early pregnancy so what are the empiric strategies empiric strategies have included supplemental luteal progesterone by giving progesterone either suppository or injection or oral in the luteal phase or luteal progesterone plus estrogen or luteal hcg injection during of course the luteal phase or ovarian stimulation with clomiphene citrate or gonadotropins okay no treatment for luteal phase deficiency has been shown to improve pregnancy rates in natural unstimulated cycles as mentioned by the american society for productive medicine according to many studies and there is controversy regarding the multiple proposed measures for diagnosing luteal phase deficiency and the weather treatment improves outcomes so it is a matter of controversy up till now as regard the methods for diagnosis and treatment protocols this is the published article by the american society for productive medicine and fertility okay uh, the practice committee of the American Society for Reproductive Medicine and the Society of Reproductive Endocrinology and the Infertility 2021 this article diagnosed and treatment of luteal phase deficiency a committee opinion was published in April 2021 in fertility sterility journal you can find the article and our lecture today is guided by this recent articles and still many factors related to diagnosis and the treatment of retail phase deficiency still there is controversy about the diagnosis and the treatment and this is the last slide thank you this is the my textbook of obstetric textbook of gynecology and the contraception handbook and the fourth book is mcq book all of them published on amazon you can find them thank you